Hi, welcome to FTCR's movie commentary for Sonic the Hedgehog 2020 from Paramount and a bunch of people we don't remember the names of. Um, we didn't make this movie and we have no hand in making this movie, so why are we recording an audio commentary? I don't know, we're bored and the second movie's coming out, so we gotta kill time until it's out. And with me today, I say as Chris Meekinus fan, I have Stefan Games Enlisted. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a, That means hello in Canadian. We have Steven... Sonic movies? Smoothies? Um, oh, synergy. Uh-oh. No! My my movie player is a little excited to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, smoothies. Hi. And also, Sonic Retro Administrator David the Worker. SpaghettiOs. Hey. It, it, it just keeps going. So we're ready to do this movie commentary. The movie is literally not waiting for us. Okay, there we go. So, what we're doing today, we're going to talk over Sonic the Hedgehog 2020. Uh... We are using the Blu-ray release. Um, I don't think there's any considerations for additional uh, footage in other releases, but just to be sure, when we do hit play on the countdown, it will start with the Universal logo with all the Sonic rings flying through. Paramount. So get through your... What? You said Universal. Right. It, it's Paramount. Who cares? <laughs> It'll go through all the rings. Uh, it's It just keeps going. It'll go through all the rings. That's the one. You skip your MPAA, et cetera, et cetera. But basically, basically, the, we're, 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 we're starting on the half a second right before the rings start showing up. Right. So that you're aware. I mean, I guess we could do a thing where it's like, oh, we, we see the mountain. So when we get to the mountain, I'll say, look, there's the mountain and there's the logo, you know, to, to make sure you're properly synced up. That sounds less scientific, but we're going to go and try that, too. Okay. When I finish saying now, hit play on the movie with us. Are you ready, home viewing audience? Three, two, one, now. Okay. Oh, there's rings! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, see, see, there's I the ring. I was afraid it wouldn't work. <laughs> right, and, and the ring is skimming the water. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that that ring really skimmed the water. And you see the, the mountain, oh, it's doing the circle. See, oh, there's the logo. Uh, Paramount, and the logo has stopped over the mountain... And if you, so if, if you're in the middle of the movie, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look at all those skates. I'm so afraid to get rid of this pause overlay screen. Uh, oh, look, it's Yakuza. But you, uh. I saw just a radio. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get rid of the pause menu. Circle is pause. Why? <laughs> Why is circle not get rid of menu? Okay, so, so we'll be half a second behind you at home. Viewer. <laughs> Oh, hi, Skylar. <laughs> oh, Skylar, Hello? perfect timing. Did you want to try and start over? Help! Like, just started fresh? No? Well, no, I, I got this note oh. at my front door, and it said, join the FTCR call or else. It sounded pretty serious, so, hi. Oh, well, you're, are you watching Sonic? Oh, is that what we're doing? We're watching Sonic... Yes. Did no one tell Skylar what we're doing? I don't know who wrote the ransom note. Oh. Okay, Sonic has just said he's going to back up, and we're backing oh, up. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm going to back up and. Okay, so three. Oh wait, two, what? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my God! It's hyper potions. This is a really bad start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's fine. Um. Right, so here we are on the island. It looks very much like it's it's South Island visually, right? It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's Sonic, Sonic Generations South Island. Right. Well, I mean, like the the actual like outline of the island kind of looks like the the island that from, I guess, Game Gear Sonic One. Oh uh, yeah. Do you like uh, narrated intros that get you up to speed? It, I, don't. I don't hate it, but I don't need it either. Like, if you have all these visuals and all these things happening, I don't need someone to tell me what is happening on the screen. See, it's it's like Blade Runner. You could have the theatrical version with Harrison Ford narrating, making it, making it a film noir detective mystery, or you could watch the director's cut with no narration and an added unicorn. Both versions are fine. Oh. What? 
That's that's not huh? a, the Sonic movie. I, I'm afraid I've only watched one movie in my oh. life, and that's this one. <laughs> so your references mean nothing. Oh. Right. Not the Sonic OVA? Yeah. That's not it was a movie. Obi-Wan Kenobi, guys. <laughs> in America, it was marketed as such. I don't care. <laughs> David, do you know how owls got into this movie? Oh! Um... Well, I mean, I guess uh, owls were, were there pretty early on, right? And I, like, okay, we see this echidna tribe. One of them is uh, Pachacamac. 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 Look, it, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it, uh, except it probably does. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> now, right, should we talk about, like, how originally bon Longclaw came Sonic. with Sonic? Because there are deleted scenes, right? There are deleted scenes on the Blu-ray and also YouTube that show Longclaw coming with Sonic to Earth, and then you get to see her die from old age. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But they changed it here. I guess there were, there were a few things that they changed. Um, I think it's because... Well, I, yeah. I, 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 think, I think that was better because it like establishes more of, oh, Sonic being alone for a longer period of time rather than being like, oh, he lived a happy life with her for a while and then she died. And it's like... And then it also leaves it open for, oh, maybe she's still alive. Ooh. Right. And, and I guess yeah, that was... I think I like the ambiguity more on that yeah, one. I guess that was, that was the reason. Was was to to emphasize Sonic's loneliness to to give us something to relate to. to yeah, all of us nerds um, relating to loneliness. That's right. Uh, <laughs> but but yeah, you know, or, originally, though, in in earlier drafts of the script, woo, those weren't echidnas, right? They were giant lizard people, right? Isn't that true? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That there were there were those lizard people. Yeah. Ew. Uh, Why? Well. The, the reason why they were lizard people is because when this was still being made by Sony, they were like, we need to make a bunch of new characters that we own and Sega doesn't, so we can make 100% of money from licensing them for stuff. Oh. Yeah. I don't like oh, that. That's, that's so, what it was. <laughs> Ooh, that, that, I heard that somewhere. I hope so, that's meant so, to be out there. So, so, so there is something interesting. <laughs> re- so there is something interesting regarding the, the Sony like switch to Paramount that I don't think many people realize is that part of the reason that Paramount got a hold of the Sonic movie is because of the Chris Pratt movie Passengers. So, like, what happens? So, like, the movie's produced by Original Film, which is uh, Neil Neil Moritz's company. He's the producer of Fast and Furious and all that. And he produced Passengers, which is the movie where Chris Pratt's on the spaceship. He wakes up too early and then wakes up Jennifer Lawrence and all that. And the, the movie was marketed as being, like, this movie about, oh, Pratt and Lawrence waking up together and, like, dealing with it, to, like, on their own, like, together. But then when the movie came out, it turned out that, oh, it was only Pratt that gets wake woken up and then he wakes up Lawrence and it's quote unquote much of a lot of people felt uh what do you call it uh lied to and basically were like what the hell is this and the movie ended up doing really poorly and neil moritz blamed sony's marketing on that so since they were supposed to make it with uh sonic with that they took it away they took it away and then they gave it to paramount so yeah that 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 is is because of a chris pratt movie that uh and i mean chris pratt was one of the people that uh the original wanted uh in the Sonic movie, so it all just come. It's just a weird circle. So we can blame Chris Pratt for another video game movie incident. <laughs> Great. I, I blame Chris Pratt for a lot of things. <laughs> well, that note told me to jump into the call. It didn't say how long to stay in the call, so I think I've satisfied the letter writer's demands. So I'm going to go to rehearsal. You guys enjoy the rest of the movie. Oh. <laughs> okay. Glad you were Bye, Sega Sky. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. You, you saw the part oh, that mattered. Flash. It's a lot of, which, which issues? <laughs> Guys, he won't leave. Did okay. So did Long did Longclaw say, "Hey, don't let anybody see you"? I don't remember. Yes, she was like, "Hey, okay. hide." Oh. Okay. Oh, we're about to get to Easter egg A. Hey. Oh man, look at all those Easter eggs. There's a Saturn logo. There's the, the, the sun moon thing from the concept art. There's a lot of mushrooms with a weird moon in the sky. I wonder what's on that moon. I Is hope it Little it's Planet? Other... I hope it's Little Mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, David, where, yeah. you said owls are there from the beginning. What did you mean by that? Like beginning of the script for this movie, or beginning of something else? Oh, um, I, I think. Well, the, I, I, I think that the owl thing was sort. Of, well, I guess from the beginning of when they were writing the script properly because i know okay so the movie went through a few different iterations right like we i guess it, the owl was there when there were lizards i think although i could be wrong there's sanic yeah uh, gotta mention it oh meme guys guys look the meme <laughs> mm -hmm. i remember someone who worked on the movie was like i always saw the owls in marble hills old or whatever labyrinth the well, I guess so, labyrinth yeah or like, so I put them in. Is that true? Oh, there was a joke. Yeah, I think that's it. Right. Yes, that that was it. Okay, right. Because, you know, um, I guess the um, this movie went through a few different iterations. I, I think the version that was being written at Sony by the other writers, uh, one of them was Van Robert Chow Cho. Um, I don't know how much of that version is even left here. Uh, because there's there's an interview with Pat Casey, and he mentioned that when him and the, the other guy... Who's the other writer? Uh, uh, yeah, Josh Miller. Josh Miller, yes. Yeah. So when Casey and Miller joined, they pitched um, a version of, of the movie where Sonic is from Earth. And it was this, it's this thing about... Um, the chaos emeralds crashing to earth somewhere in south america mutating the animals around it and so when the movie starts like sonic and tails they already exist and are living in secret and robotnik shows up and steals the emeralds and sonic has to follow him and that's how he ends up you know in in america and doing stuff like that's a version that um casey and miller pitched but then the the director pitched a movie that was like oh we're focusing on sonic and he's a a kid and he's told not to run but he wants to run and that that version is what slowly evolved into what we see here yeah um all right but then they they pared it down Thank because it's originally like more of sonic's cast of characters was supposed to be there but then they were like no we just have to focus on sonic because they were looking at the original games and sonic one is just sonic and they also wanted to focus on just Sonic instead of dealing with everything, and they went, "Oh, we'll we'll deal with everyone else later." That assumed that there was going to be a sequel, which I mean, there is, but I think there's one reason why there is. See, I I, I, ne I whenever people whenever like they try to say like, "Oh, we just wanted this to be Sonic Eggman because it's like Sonic One," and I'm like, like they're, they're using that as an excuse to mean we didn't want to deal with anything else because this is already too much trouble. <laughs> but they try to use the game excuse as, "Oh, see, we're being thematic." I mean, like, if you're being, th and which which is then proven, because then when we go to the next movie, it's like, oh, there's tails, but they're just, I mean, like, at, 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 when you look at the trailers, they're just going far in on the Knuckles side, and just pushing Knuckles, and then tails is almost just kind of like a non-thing in the promotional <laughs> uh, aspect of the second movie. Well, people, people like Knuckles, and he's the, uh... Yeah, obviously, yeah, that is why I mean, like, oh, like, the game, game accuracy is not the reasoning here. It is all. It is kind of like always like the interesting thing of like oh it is it's kind of, it's a lot of of like these creators that are kind of like forced into this uh into this like pocket by the executives that want a very specific thing even though it doesn't seem like it could be right like it's like oh we want a live action CG Sonic movie and it's like we don't care how you do it but you have to do it like this it's like nothing else where so then they're like okay how do we do this it's like we need to have Sonic in the real world it's like how do we do that that makes it work and it's like they're wrapping their brain around and then it's like this is like the best thing that they're able to figure out right this sony wanted there to be a kid sonic teaming up with a kid <sighs> not a not a cop it's like he needs a kid and the writers went no but we already have a kid that's sonic we need to have him team up with someone else so that he can be involved in action sequences although i mean tom is still a human being so it's not like he can run fast and and go through loops or run up buildings or you know, do any of the things Sonic can do. But but he can talk. Like he's he is right he's here. He's pretty good at falling down buildings though. <laughs> That's right, he does fall. <laughs> Not to invoke the Sonic movie Discord, mm -hmm. but for some reason one of their emojis is Sergeant Sprinkles, and I love that they were so desperate for emoji, they're like, Yeah, the donut <laughs> that's on screen for two seconds. <laughs> 
Also, does he eat that donut after? Or because it's on his car, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> like, is it a donut he's had for years? It's just like <laughs> I want to know the Do- history of the donut. <laughs> Do we know Maddie's career? Is she a, a nurse, a doctor? What was it? A veterinarian. Is it a vet? Is it yeah. a vet? Oh, she's... Oh, so a vet and a cop can afford this really big, nice house, but I guess they can only do that because they live in the Midwest? Uh, I mean, this, yeah. what, this is Montana. Is Montana considered Midwest? I always figured that was more like mon- uh, mountain time zone. Right? Sure. It's a flyover state. It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Got him. Oh... It, it exists. It It's there. I still <laughs> say it should have been in Nebraska, but... <laughs> oh, why is that, David? Oh, because there there was, uh, you know, the, the original Sega of America Sonic Bible mentions that Sonic the Hedgehog lives in Hardly, Nebraska, behind a, a burger oh. joint where he eats whopping gloppers. And Sonic be- befriends all the kids, and they teach him how to read and write, but he doesn't learn how to talk until he gets zapped by uh, Dr. Kintobor's talking machine. I know, uh, right, Sonic? <laughs> I remember when I got zapped by Dr. Kentobor's talking machine. Yep, yeah, and then you made a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's been downhill since. That's why he zapped you. He was like, ah, oh, this is my perfect experiment. I need someone to make mediocre YouTube content. Let's zap this guy. Oh, man. Sonic's playing baseball with himself. It's really neat. It's, it's a very, uh... It's very, I feel like a Flash thing or a, or a Super... I was watching Lois and Clark. There's an episode where Superman does this himself. Oh. Yeah. How old is that? Uh, it's from the uh, mid-90s, so... It, oh, it isn't the. I mean, Sonic existed, but the movie did not exist yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, how many things does this movie take from other things, do you think? <laughs> a lot. Oh, cool. <laughs> How many ads have we seen? I didn't want to say near everything, but... How many ads have we seen so far? I saw an Apple computer, and I saw Zillow. Right, Zillow. And, and now Although, we're I, get... I guess Zillow was added in post, so they weren't looking at, at the Zillow website when filming. That's important. <laughs> Very important. Oh, okay. Sonic, you're ruining it! He doesn't care. <laughs> If I can't enjoy this baseball diamond, no one can. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> uh, Adam Paley faces. Oh, that's right. In the in the one minute of the Sonic movie commentary I watched because it's on YouTube. Ben Schwartz mentioned that, oh, he worked with, he was, when he was at the uh, Upright Citizens Brigade, he, he he did stuff with them, so they got to reunite, sort of, on this movie. Isn't that fun trivia? I'm wasting all my trivia in the first 20 minutes of the movie. I hope you're... <laughs> I do love the idea of referencing the official audio commentary in this audio commentary. <laughs> so this would be the closest he gets to Sonic then, right? Or maybe near the end of the movie during a certain scene right. that we're totally not going to spoil. Yes. But um, about 15 minutes before we started recording, I went, "Oh, I, I probably should have like watched the real movie commentary first. <laughs> but that way we could transplant all the facts here. I did listen to it, but that was like two years. That was like back when the Blu-ray first came out. Uh, I listened to it, so like I, I forget most of what they talked about. But it was cool. Yeah, it's glad to hear in like G- Fowler and Schwartz." Basically, just kind of like gush about uh, Sonic and uh, and just the move, like just like the, doing the stuff in the movie. It looks grounder. Did they, did they mention Gary Chalk being grounder in this scene? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember them acknowledging uh, that he was a grounder. Ah, they should have. Worthless. He was also Doctor Robotnik in Sonic Underground. Oh, that was oh. him. Huh. I knew it was yeah, someone different. That... I just didn't realize it was that was him. Right. That means there are two Robotniks in this movie. Both in the military. Yeah. I mean, or government, whatever body this would technically fall under. (laughs) I just love that the Pentagon is talking about Robotnik right now. (laughs) (laughs) This is really good. (laughs) 
Um, yeah, he sucks, but you remember how good he is sometimes? Yeah. Let's send him out. Do you, I, do you, was, what do you think uh, the original name that they had for Robotnik was? Because like, you feel like, like in one version, they probably were like, oh, Robotnik is too on the nose. We had to give him like a real name. Well, what? I don't know. Uh, according mm. to Van Robichow, who uh, I listened to a podcast like, well, a few months before the movie came out, so a long time ago, he said that when he was working on the script, he was told not to use the name Robotnik. Because Sega of Japan would get annoyed if they used Robotnik in the script. So I don't know what changed between his drafts and these later drafts because it's Robotnik all over the place. But like he was instructed, um, call him Eggman. And, and he was also told you were not allowed to use any of the Freedom Fighters because Sega of Japan hates them too. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> I guess what could have changed, they had the whole um, movie Zuka and Hoshino to America thing and maybe... They sussed out that it's okay to use Robotnik sometimes as part of that. I don't know what else would have really changed. But I feel like I've been following Van Robichell for like 20 years now because of this, so... Yeah, I mean, he just... I may have lost the plot on when he actually started writing. He just tweets about Vans for now. Van the brand. Yeah, that is his brand, I guess. <laughs> right, I remember following him when it was announced. Uh, I went onto his Twitch stream and was watching because I wanted to see... If they knew their stuff and it was like, oh yeah, we have the Genesis games and the history of Sonic book from 2011 that has some incorrect facts in it. They didn't say that. I did. But... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I like these Sonic 06 robots. They, they do kind of look <laughs> that way. Although the although the, the, the these ones look more like Eggman robots than uh, the O six ones do. Sure. He's so mean. Oh man! When I was in the theater, <laughs> some guy just started bursting out laughing the second he saw Jim Carrey. And I'm like, he hasn't done anything yet. He's just a funny <laughs> looking man. <laughs> he was standing like there by exact. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with boats? He's very happy to see him just absolutely loving it, and 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 not in and and not in a like oh he he's he just he he's quote unquote just putting on an act. He's like no, he's genuinely super happy to keep doing to keep doing Eggman. Is it true that Jim Carrey doesn't do sequels? Is that a thing? Well, it, 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 it's it's a thing like for pretty much most of the 2010s, he Carey kind of like went to like to the like he he basically kind of like stepped down from really doing a lot of acting. It's like I think the last big thing he did was that like 20 year old sequel to Dumb and Dumber, and then when he did come back, he did like uh, Looking and like a couple drama series. So like this was his big return to movies and comedies after like a while. So it's like that's why it was so weird. It's like oh like he picked this, but also that like when like when the movie was being like uh, promoted. Like he was being super enthusiastic, like yes, I'm Robotnik, and it's like I really love this, and it's like this was when people were still being very uh, iffy about how the Sonic movie is going to turn out. So when after it comes out, and then after now with the sequels and stuff, and he's like, yeah, I'm all for still playing Robotnik in more movies. It's like yeah, it's 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 really glad to see him not only do it really well, but be like excited about it. Oh, that didn't answer my question, right. but that's all good. No, stuff it was to hear. um <laughs> when after when he was filming. Ace Ventura when nature calls uh. it he had a really bad experience with it and that's when he declared I'm never doing another sequel again because he was uh, okay. lined up to do the mask too afterwards and he was like no I'm not going to forget it so that that's why like they had announced the mask too there was that 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 competition and was it Nintendo Power where it was like hey be an extra in the mask too uh, that everyone loves to reference like he was going to uh. do it and uh, then Sonic Sonic <laughs> Uh, sorry, I don't need to know how enhanced Sonic's foot looks. Um, but yeah, so because of that movie, he went no more sequels. Um, Although technically he did, well, then he did Dumb and Dumber 2 in but that, 2014. Yeah, yeah, that, that was like so many years ago. 20 years, years ago, later yeah. when he went, oh, maybe, because it was money. the same people. Yeah, well, no, money. it was like, <laughs> <laughs> they they did something to convince him, but nobody saw that. I I didn't see that movie. <laughs> he he well, was also... Were, 
He was also in uh, the series of unfortunate events, and that one was intended to have multiple movies. Like it never did because the movie didn't do as well as they wanted. But I mean, like if they would have, like he would have returned for that sequel. <laughs> that's why they didn't make more because he said no more sequels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sabotaged it. <laughs> that's right. What's the right. over under on the kid from Ace Ventura Junior popping up in Sonic movie two? Mm-hmm. Oh, but oh, but but right, <laughs> uh, Casey and Miller are writing the script to Ace Ventura 3. Well, I guess 4, technically. Oh, right. Because he was... he. I forgot. Right, because it, cause Jim Carrey was so into working with this writing duo that he went, oh, yeah, like, if you've got something, I want to do it. And they were like, uh, Ace Ventura 3? And he went, yeah, let's do it. Which is <laughs> so weird, right? Ah. Oh. Man, I uh, I enjoy this movie. It, I I can't say I've seen anything from it that makes me think like, yeah, that would convince Jim Carrey to come back for another Ace Ventura. But if everyone's feeling it, hey, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> There's Olive Garden. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm no so way. hungry. Right. I mean, oh, the raccoons. Is Sonic a raccoon? How many uh, are, are there? Any raccoon Sonic characters? I can't think of any. Uh, Marine. Marine. Oh, pff, pff, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I don't blame you for not remembering Marine. <laughs> but it's <laughs> she's very much not a North American trash raccoon. Yeah, I, 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 I think I think it's because she's orange. That's why I didn't think of her as a raccoon. But right. well, she also speaks. I mean, uh, Australian. What if they're talking mushrooms? Sonic never thought, like, hey, maybe Longclaw's wrong. Maybe I can talk to someone. Well, I I guess he's, uh... Oh, man, remember... Very obedient? Remember the original trailer, and then we saw the original Sonic, and he screamed, and, and, and Tom screamed, and everyone screamed, and... And then we all went, oh, no, this movie is going to be bad. And then the director had to go on Twitter and say, actually, Sonic won't look like that, we swear. And then they had to hire Tyson Hess to <laughs> redesign Sonic the Hedgehog very quickly, and they did. And he also designed all the echidnas, and it was like, whoa, isn't that great? And so he kind of helped save the, the visual look of the film, because if it was the original Sonic, nobody would have been able to love him because he looked like a horrifying monster instead of a lovable blue hedgehog that we all want to be friends with. Yes, I remember. I remember. <laughs> Holy run-on sentence, <laughs> Batman. Wow. <sighs> I do remember that. But wow. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was a good bit. <laughs> I still see him in my dreams sometimes. <laughs> I, I've tried to, because I really want to look into who are the main people involved with, uh, like, animating Sonic. Like, like actually animating Sonic. Because I've tried looking it up, and, like, I can't really find any information. Because it's like, yeah, they, they're doing such, like, an amazing job, like, with, with his facial expressions and his, like, little movements. And it's like, I really want to give them, like, credit. Oh, the specific people, not just the company that doesn't yeah. exist anymore, right? Didn't they go well, out of business? It, well, it's weird. Well, cause, I mean, because it's like Blur and Marza are both like credited as producing this and the second movie. And then there's mm-hmm. also uh, MRI Studio who did a lot of the VFX and like, yeah, they, they did a lot of the, uh, yeah, the, that those last minute fixes uh, for Sonics. But it's like a weird thing of like, yeah, you, you have Marza and Blur. So it's like, wouldn't they be doing a lot of animation? And it's like, it's so like, with like, it's like, I can't find any information that's stating what exactly those two companies do. Like... For yeah. the movie, mm. are they credited in the credits? Marza Planet. Yes, like the opening credit says a Blur Studio slash Marza Animation Planet uh, uh, production. Okay, so we're gonna look at the credits, and whichever ones are Japanese, we're just gonna assume <laughs> they're they're Marza. <laughs> oh man. Sonic's got spaghetti legs, which which a lot of artists like to draw Sonic with with the doodly appendages, right? Cause, How is cause Sonic like eating spaghetti Sonic without Adventure, eating spaghetti? He's got he's got a lot of lot of noodle going on there. So by that, I guess I mean Yukawa when he wants to draw Sonic funny. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh mm-hmm. man, that's the power glove. <laughs> 
vintage. Sure is. <laughs> I've seen some people say it should have been Genesis buttons in the Genesis D-pad, and morally I agree with them, but I also don't. I'm stuck in a rock and a hard place on that one. Right. Well, I think this is a sequel to The Wizard. <laughs> I mean, they do go back to California in this movie, so it makes sense thematically. <laughs> right? I think Jim Carrey's robotic wears cologne. I feel like he makes his own cologne. <laughs> Egg spray. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Ugh, he probably smells kind of weird. Oh, because... Uh, oh. Tom the Cop W. That's right, Tom. Well, you know, Tom Tom was... Uh, <laughs> right, he... he became part of the Sonic movie and and that's why he wasn't in X-Men the Last Stand, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, oh. Oh, look at those secret holes. That's open. What if it rains? Don't leave that open. Jeez. <laughs> Not- well, it's a hot day. They got to let all the cold air in. <laughs> There's no AC right now. Uh, you know, oh. this oh, is yeah. world building, David. It, it, no, you don't get it. Man, his, that attic is so like tidy and roomy. It's not like a real attic that's crammed with stuff. <laughs> they are definitely prepared to have like five kids at this house. It is so big yeah. for just two people and a dog. Right. Where are his neighbors? Right? Okay, because it seems like there aren't Next people door. very close. But he says he steals the neighbor's Wi-Fi. So, how close is that house? Really? They have a very powerful router. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because they are in in Montana. So, there's there's some space, I'm sure, between the houses. Because it's not like they're in the actual town. Although, it is strange that the sheriff <laughs> doesn't live in, like, the core of the town. He lives on the outskirts. So, if there's something... No, that, that makes that... sense. A lot of cops live pretty far away from where they work. Be for yeah. safety reasons. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man, I guess that that does make sense. I was just thinking like, you know, like a superhero wants to be close to do a hop out the window like Spider-Man. But man, I guess <laughs> he's not I guess, a superhero. No, he's, a he's just a regular guy. It's kind of could... the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> right. But also the worst thing that ever happens in this town is a goose crossing incident, which I think was isn't that cut from this cut of the movie? <laughs> like, no, it was there. there is it? Ducks no, do they show the, the geese? I forget. Yeah, oh, Sonic's fluffy. He looks so cute. Oh, it's very... uh. I Kick do him. like that. That's really good. Right. I guess there was supposed to be an extended sequence, just like how there was an extended sequence of uh, the, the crazy guy. Like, you, would, you were supposed to see more of that happening. It's all in the Blu-ray. It's all those cut scenes that are also on YouTube. And you can watch with, right now. With... With the OG Sonic design, because obviously they weren't going to animate the real Sonic with scenes they weren't going to be in the movie. I I want a giant Sonic plush ball that looks like that. I also want the prop that they used, because that still looks good. It, it isn't the weird <laughs> Sonic. Yeah, I, I saw that ball that was posted. It's like, oh, it looks so nice. Oh man, Keg. I love how much Tom the Cop is just dicking on Eggman in this whole scene. <laughs> if Sega of Japan really don't like the name Robotnik, why'd they make Gerald Robotnik Robotnik? Um That's a great question. I, I think it was oh look, he found a quill, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He found that quill before he found Sonic. So it could have been like, I found that on the side of the road, it's blue. I don't know. I was gonna use it to pick my teeth. Um, he's gonna murder him. Drone um, strike. I think the reason they really use, is part of the American military. The the reason they use robotic in SA two, I think, was just that attempt to to bre- you know connect the U S. and the Japanese can and be like, look, his name's Eggman, but we're going to acknowledge robotic one final time, and then we'll never talk about it again. Oh, you punched him in the face. 
Hell yeah. Right, a child a couldn't have done that. If, if <laughs> Sonic was teaming up with a kid, that kid wouldn't have punched him <laughs> in the face. He would have kicked him in the shins. Different. <laughs> yes. Also, in, in the Japanese Sonic Jam strategy guide, there is a reference to the name Robotnik saying that is, is, it is his real name. So they're like, yeah, he, he does have a name, we, we swear. But call him Eggman forever. Don't call him Robotnik. <laughs> but I guess they're okay with it here. But there's definitely no Sally. I feel like it'd also be like the the, the Sega of America, or at least like whatever whatever ended up probably like, uh, over, like, uh, overruling it, because they're like, more people in America know Robotnik, so just stick with Robotnik. And it's like, yeah, there would be too much, too much uh, extra work... Uh, to like, yeah, because it, it definitely wouldn't be called a Dr. Eggman, because that, that, that is more of a nickname. So they would have to give him a new name, and then Sonic would give him the Eggman uh, n- uh, nickname. Yeah, I bet that was part of the thing, where Paramount was like, all right, give us a name to use then. They were like, well, we, we don't want to. <laughs> like, all right, Robotnik it is. Go away. Right. Or they could have uh, done a movie that takes place in in the world of Sonic and just called him Eggman. Well, now you're asking for a lot. <laughs> like, I, I'll, I always think of how in uh, 2015's Fantastic Four, like, Doom was supposed to be called, like, Do- uh, he's supposed to be called uh, Vic- Vic- Victor uh, uh, D- Dovashes or something like that, and then Doom was just his nickname. <laughs> People were like, that's stupid, just call him Doom. So in all of the, the reshoots and stuff, they made him back to just Dr. <laughs> Doom. And people oh. don't know if that was better or not in, in, the, in uh, uh, retrospect. Imagine growing up and getting to say Jim Carrey put his hand in my mouth and I have it on film. Right. Apparently, Jim, that that was uh, ad ad libbed, except it's not talking. Oh. It wasn't in the script. They didn't say Jim Carrey shoves his hand. Improvise. Improvise. Impro- That's the word. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's improvisation. He was just like, I'm going to put my hand in your mouth. But did he tell him beforehand? Uh, that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he did. See, home in the surprise stone. I hope. That Jim Carrey didn't tell anyone anything yeah, what he was going to do. Too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the true method actor in his prime. Mm-hmm. Also, why is the population 1981? Like, you're 10 away. You're 10 away. <laughs> this is... Like, 10 away. Oh, he's pulling away because he's like, he's allergic to mushrooms. He didn't pull off the road very well. <laughs> now the answer to this question <laughs> is because there would be no movie. Uh-huh. Well, why wouldn't Sonic just run to San Francisco and go get the back? Because, well, because there'd be no movie. Well, they're, they're literally about to explain it right now, technically. Take that, Steven. Look it up. <laughs> In what? He's fast. He, can... he doesn't have a phone. Listen, oh. he went all the way to the Pacific just now. <laughs> he could oh. just keep running around and eventually see a sign, or he could like pick up a map. I don't know. <laughs> or ask Tom for a map. Can I have a map, Tom? Yeah, here you go. Yeah, but then... To support your point, he knows what the Pacific Ocean is, but doesn't know how to track down San Francisco? Yeah, San Francisco is on the Pacific Ocean. He's had ten years of watching television and reading comic books. He should know... So, 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 so th- I, this this joke's supposed to insinuate that oh, he probably that ran... That is still alive! It's <laughs> blinking! For now. So I, I assume that the thing is supposed to be that he, that, he, that in this like he he didn't actually run on top of the water he just ran under the water so it's like oh and then we we've seen in the second movie in the trailer that he is running over water so is it thing of like oh did he actually or did does it something he learns like later it's like oh is there a reason behind that it's like I don't know uh... <laughs> the answer is it was a funny joke <laughs> don't don't question it I... <laughs> too late. I'm hoping the second Sonic likes to name people after food. I'm going to call huh? you Tim because I'm actually your dentist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Sonic may have seen things he shouldn't have if he's been spying on Tom this whole time. Like what? Uh, well, let's say, you know, you're sitting on the couch with your best gal watching mm. uh, various 1980s films. Yes, films. <laughs> 1980s <laughs> films. Right. I mean, sometimes, you know, you, you watch you watch a film from the 1980s and you, you get a, you know, you, you know, it might set the mood. Mm. Are you trying to say that Sonic the Hedgehog has seen Tom the Cop's police stick? <laughs> Uh, y- yes. <laughs> oh, mm. you know. And, and Sonic says, "Hey, how come I don't have one of those?" <laughs> oh. mm. Those were in the deleted scenes, right, David? Um, well, I I think those ones weren't on the Blu-ray. They might be on the 4K release. I have the 4K release. We'll check. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Sonic in a car? <laughs> oh boy, I hope you're ready to spend 10 minutes here. Yep. <laughs> it's literally 10 minutes in this location. Okay, Sonic... Oh man. If Team Sonic Racing came out closer to around this time, would they would they put this car in the game? <laughs> Tom's truck. Oh my god, Tom's, that would have been great. Yes. Oh man, I want. I would like that. That, that's the kind of thing where if you told me that was going to happen, like, but as the game is coming out, I'd be like, that's the worst idea in the world. But if I just naturally happened upon that in the game, I'd be like, oh my god, this is better than Wreck It Ralph. Can't wait for Wreck It Ralph three. <laughs> is this who? Okay, so this other cop. Do we know who this guy is? IRL. Uh, Adam Paley. He he's he's a he's a comedian that's been that he he's like he he's in a lot of like bit parts in a bunch of different uh, com- uh comedy films. He, he likes oh, to okay. make jokes. He's not a good of an actor, so I was wondering like. Yeah, he is more of a yeah he's more of a comedian <laughs> than uh than like an actor okay. professional actor. I like how Agent Stone is at his best when Robotnik's not around because he just starts a coffee shop. <laughs> he's just like <laughs> does his own living thing. his best life. He's living his best life without this other guy in his life. He stays up at night longing for those fingers to be between his lips again. Oh, the subtitles uh, really spell out that joke. (laughs) Wow. I don't know how I feel about that. (laughs) Turn on the subtitles to get the joke. (laughs) To go to your point, Stephen, he says, I'm going to tell people about this with a really wide smile as if nothing weird has happened. Yeah. (laughs) There had to be a take where he looked slightly concerned at least, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sonic went to the Piston Pit. A very normal place. He did what in his pit? <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, man. Who's that? We're going to have a lot of kids going to this theater, so we, we're we going to have, like, at least half of our viewers are going to be dads. We need to have a scene for the dads. Oh, that's right. Because when you become a dad, you go to uh, Western-themed bars. <laughs> that's right. I'll tell you, my son made me go see that Sonic movie, but they spent 10 minutes in that bar. (laughs) That little blue boy's all right. (laughs) He likes to drink, just like me. There's a drink called Yo Mama, and it's two bucks. (laughs) I saw it on the thing. Oh, I love Mellow Yellow and other Coca-Cola products. 
Oh, man. They don't go to McDonald's in this movie, do they? <laughs> it's, um, you know, it's a list of things involving various buckets that you would like to uh, use over your life. Ice buckets. Uh, uh, piss buckets, poop <laughs> buckets. Piss bucket was number one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. I'm not going to be able to use any of these buckets if I go back to the mushroom <laughs> world. <laughs> well, Sonic, luckily there is a mushroom bucket. Oh, wow. Okay, it's number four. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, technically there were other planets on, on his map. Why does he have to go to the mushroom world specifically? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't all... I, I don't think that was the last one that he didn't go to. I think there was like like two or three he didn't go to on that map. Uh, I mean, a lot of them were crossed hmm. out. Which implies that he's been planet hopping for a while, but yeah, he's also been on Earth forever, so I don't know. Yeah, because okay, I remember the first time I watched the movie and I saw that and I was like, oh, so he didn't immediately go to Earth. He's been jumping around other planets and he's only been on Earth fairly recently. But then it's like, oh, no, they explain that he's been on Earth for like 10 years. So it's like, oh, so he only been to Earth and he's been hiding this whole time. So it's like it's a weird it's a weird uh, like choice. It's a guitar solo. Does Sonic do a guitar solo in this scene? My mind is creating that mental image, so I'm going to say yes. Oh. I find it very interesting that we have a, a Hollywood voice actor and then a game voice actor in the second movie. And it's like, what is what happening? parkour? It, it, it is interesting because you yeah because you yeah you have you have Colleen you have Idris Elba and then Ben Schwartz is kind of like the in between because yeah he's been in a bunch of like yeah live action series and movies but then he's also been in a lot of like voice acting like he's of like he's uh Huey and Ducktales and Leonardo and Rise of the TMNT mm. right well I mean originally Ben Schwartz tissue? wasn't meant to be the voice of Sonic he's just a temp voice. Like, oh, can you just, you know, record lines until we find the actual voice actor? But then they went, oh, actually, uh, we'll keep you. And he went, cool. Like, yes, I get a job. I like money. He's like, oh, man, I know Sonic. And then he did a thumbs up, I think. That's right. I get in bar fights all the time, too. <laughs> I, I wrote a note here. Yeah, well, man. The note says Ben Schwartz loves that Sonic can change speeds in the game. <laughs> you know, that's one of my favorite things about what the Sonic games, mean? too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was quickly watching behind the scenes feature where he talks about how he played Sonic when he was younger and how he likes, you know, like in other platformers, a character just kind of goes at, at one speed, but Sonic can change speeds as you play it. I guess, like, you know, he can speed up. It felt very mm. much like he was trying to think of something to say about Sonic, the game. That's how all of his interviews sound about Sonic. <laughs> yeah. He, he very much tries to seem like he's a big fan of it when uh, he's probably not. But, you know, he doesn't have to be. Honestly, you can just stretch that out to any behind-the-scenes interview material. It always seems the yeah. most like, yeah, this person doesn't want to be here, so they're answering questions in a very general, fast way to get away <laughs> from the camera. Yep. <laughs> oh man, this this is the the days of future past bit. That's how I lost one of my teeth too, man. <laughs> Love mug root beer. Sonic hit got hit by a boot. Well, you know. Although I'm pretty sure the f I could be wrong, but I think the filmmakers actually said that the reference that they used was over the hedge, the the ending uh, poem of that, which did this exact same thing too. <laughs> all oh, right. Of of all, that's interesting. I. The only thing That's I know right, about he gets jacked up on caffeine and just does the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah they, they, they feed him like yeah, they feed him like yeah, a, a, a soda thing. Yeah, he becomes so he becomes so fast he freezes time. <laughs> That's right. That I, movie's okay. Uh, ben Ben Folds did some songs on in that movie. That is true. Yep. That That's I remember that. That has nothing to do with Sonic. <laughs> I don't think Ben Folds has ever talked about Sonic the Hedgehog, as far as I know. We can ask. I could. That is that is part of my dream. I just want to ask lots of random famous people their opinions on Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Uh-huh. And they'll be like, well, I like that he can change speeds while running. <laughs> that's right. I think you have to ask John Carpenter about Sonic. I think he'll have actual answers for you. Yes, that's right. I, I mean, wa- he even played Unleashed. Yeah, I, I, so. <laughs> yeah, I need more, yeah, John Carpenter with Sonic. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, he gen- you can see from all of his, like, yeah, whenever he's interviewed, yeah, he genuinely loves Sonic. And it's like, yeah, get, get him to, like, talk about oh. uh, and, like, do some shit with Sonic. It says dodge the draft on that menu above his head. Damn right, brother. <laughs> I saw Miller. Did Miller sponsor this? Is Sonic the Hedgehog promoting alcohol consumption? Just grab the food. It's right there, Sonic. This bothers me every time. Just get the food. Sonic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Waste. Right. I mean, that's the sort of food that you can just keep in the car. You're going to want to you're going to want a snack later. <laughs> oh man! See now, that's the one excrement joke where I'm like, "Yeah, that's funny," but then it, very shortly they'll make oh. me go, "Oh, <laughs> right, oh, run with dress up what, like what Elvis." <laughs> right. I listened to an interview because I guess like this this joke that you just referenced wasn't in the script, and the writer was like, oh, "I don't know if that should really be in there," but the kids mm. laughed. So they sure did. And that's why it stayed, because it's for the kids. Did you know that Sonic the Hedgehog is a children's franchise? <laughs> David, you're starting to talk crazy. <laughs> what? Does that mean I'm a child? Um, y- yes. At heart. Yeah. Oh, there oh, it is. No. Right, that was, that was uh, improvised oh, on set. There it is. <sighs> he said the thing, you pop. Now let's have him be sad after he farted. <laughs> That's generally what happens to me. She might be. More like she died. Wrong claw. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's I the mean, question what, that I asked at the beginning of the movie. Right. What if Tom was like, you know, from experience, what I've learned is that a lot of dead people were wrong about things. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry that your mother figure died, but sounds like she was a dummy. <laughs> it's like, what? I can now you've got a daddy figure. figure, Sonic. Just have to wait. Just have to wait for the sequel for consequences to happen. My adopted furry son. I oh, mean, right <laughs> there's the list. Dress, uh, right? I get. Oh. Did we see him dress up like Elvis? No, we didn't. There wasn't enough movie for that. Oh, I forgot about this. Does his record get cleared ever? Yeah, they clear it at the end of the movie and he gets an Olive Garden <laughs> card. Oh, God, right. I, oh. Right. I remember the gift card, but I forgot that they were like, yeah, let's we'll just. Oh, Nothing God. ever happened. Think- None of this ever existed. <laughs> so, according to I your just- memory, that whole scene happened so that he could get a gift card. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I forgot what they were talking about. I was just like, oh, a gift card to Olive Garden. Great. <laughs> that, that gift card. Sorry, Eggman was weird to you. <laughs> that gift card does not feature in the novelization. It is not, yeah. Why not? Oh, right. There is a novelization to this movie. It has a couple oh, yeah. extra things, including more information on Longclaw and how she's the last of her kind. And and, and also, uh, uh, Agent Stone is the one who's giving uh, is the one who's doing that talk at the end. Right. I guess I. <laughs> In that draft, Agent Stone pocketed the gift card for himself. Lee, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I can't, I can't pronounce his last name, but uh, Lee, Lee Majdob is like that. Th- that, that is like the quintessential example of taking a nothing character and just making it enjoyable just by, just by your performance. Because like any time he shows up, it's like I, I smile. It's like I like this guy. I don't know why. <laughs> They're boyfriends. <laughs> Between that and how nice that guy seems, IRL. 
don't ever prove me wrong, sir. I think he might be my favorite Sonic movie character. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, even more than Sonic? Even more than Sonic. Little brother Sonic. Now, if he didn't fart, this might be a different conversation, <laughs> but... How did... Right, we see an outline of Sonic's foot. We see him pass gas. <laughs> This, this movie is doing some things. Al although I guess originally, like, we're supposed to see full foot. We don't get. We don't see full foot. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 I, th I think even Hess has said that that was one of the things. He's like, no Sonic feet, ever. <laughs> That's right. Um, in in a in a later scene, we do see a hint of what the underside of his foot's meant to look like, but it's mostly covered by a sock. So. There is that, but but yeah, originally we're supposed to see full feet, and uh, that that wouldn't. I I don't think that would have. I I, I know what you're gonna say, David. We were robbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's oh he's doing a thing. Okay, so we got we got Doctor Eggbotnik, and uh, he's driving in his not Batmobile, uh, <laughs> and there's Hal Nine Thousand attached to the front. Oh man, we're we're seeing uh, some character stuff with Sonic. And oh, they were almost murdered. Remember when when that scene also happened in Hop? Because uh, <laughs> yeah. Doctor Robotnik was trying to kill the Easter Bunny. It was bold of you to assume I've seen the movie Hop. That would have made Hop a lot better. <laughs> I I I mean I've I've seen uh, the the trailer to Hop, which is almost the same as seeing Hop, I believe. I'm going to explode! But, right, but I mean, at this point, I mean, Sonic isn't trying, like, they've caught up. He's not hiding. Oh, he d did a thing! Spinball, that's from the game! Yeah, he did the spinning, because Sonic's about rolling. He, he did the drop Sonic. dash! <laughs> Yo! Zzzz! <laughs> Man, I wonder if James Morrison ever thought he'd be sitting in a car shouting Sonic when he was in X-Men. <laughs> oh, no. Yay! Oh. Woo! Oh, and the trailer is a slightly different angle when he says that. Isn't that something? Oh, kind but of. Sonic can't hear your reply. <laughs> <laughs> Right, because I can run. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> like, I don't know if you realize this, but I'm fast. It's in my name. Like, if you drive away, I can catch up because you're not going that fast. The, the, there was a little moment just right before where, where he's trying to close a door, but he's like missing a little bit, so his fingers are like like stretching out a bit before he gumps to he jumps forward to close a door. It's like so, little, little little stuff like that's really cute. Oh, this would be the oh, third no. time I've seen this movie. How about you guys? Maybe oh. four. Yeah, I think fourth, maybe. Uh, give us a number, David. Uh, this 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 might be the third time I've seen it. I don't know. Have we watched? I don't. I don't remember if I've I watched it since that. the theater. Oh, Sonic's upset that, that Tom is going to move away, even though Sonic's like, I'm going to leave Mushroom <laughs> Place for Mushroom Place. Oh, right. Sonic knows what a live stream is. Still doesn't know where San Francisco is. <laughs> <laughs> well, no streamers are in SF. They're all in LA, you see. Oh, well, he could have gone to LA and then asked someone. <laughs> Man, he could have he could have uh, taken a page from from Ralph Rex the Internet and become a, like a like a TikTok sensation doing doing his flossing dance, and everyone would have been like, hey. "Wow, 
Sonic the Hedgehog is a lovable character and, and not a frightening monster. The less this franchise takes from Rick and Ralph 2, probably for the best. Okay, I'm going to ask this question. Am I the only one who gets annoyed by the fact that, that Sonic and Wreck-It Ralph doesn't look like he does in Sonic the Fighters? Because that's the version of Sonic they're interacting with. <laughs> like, it shouldn't be modern okay. Sonic. It should be 32-bit polygonal Sonic. Like, like that. that's just wrong. I mean, now that you mention it, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed. But I'm also annoyed that you mentioned it. <laughs> Right, because because if it's like, oh, that's them from that very specific cabinet, I guess they don't really like dive into the idea of. Well, but, well, but, 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 but I mean, but also, I mean, like in, in that world, like I mean, Ralph Ralph doesn't look eight bit the entire time, so it, no, but he still and looks Cuber like the same has a full three D model. Right, like it. It's not like oh, it's a smooth version of Sonic the Fighter Sonic. It's modern Sonic, like closer yeah. to. That's uh. He, that's not how he looks. That's not how he looks at all. It's so weird. <laughs> oh, we have to have a talk with Disney about this. I, I mean, I want to. It also doesn't address <laughs> the fact that there's like ten million versions of each character because if it's like each arcade cabinet is unique, then like what if? Oh, you know this scene. It doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> with with the origin because he didn't have gloves you know, in the, the original. original. Yeah. Right, but he does have gloves in this, so he could take his glove off. But but that, but, but yeah, but, but that was also probably the other distinction of he always has gloves on. Don't take the gloves off. Yeah, but if you got like a little sticky bomb, I, I just throw the glove off and then get a new glove. Sonic. And then he would only have one oh, glove, can't. just like Michael Jackson. Oh no. Oh the, no. The the bigger logic leap here is that he can. We we saw we had a whole scene where he's so fast that time is practically frozen. He could have tried a million things by now. Yeah, like taking <laughs> his glove off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going back to the Wreck-It Ralph thing. Oh yes. For some reason, um, I'm going to guess though that's probably a Sega decision because um, Stephen and I, among some of the other FTCR boys, oh, yeah. sat in on a panel that um, the guy who animated Sonic and Wreck-It Ralph Ooh. actually had. And they sent over their Sonic model to Disney, and it was too high poly to use, which tells me that they said, please use modern Sonic. I think he was the modeler, not the animator, but yeah. Oh, is that what it was? He, okay. he modeled his own um, Sonic model for the wreck Ralph movie because the one Sega sent them was too high poly. Yeah, I wouldn't be su- um, I wouldn't be surprised if they if they gave him like the Mars Planet Sonic that they used for Unleashed, like the Unleashed CG cutscenes, and they're like, yeah, no, we can't use this. This doesn't fit with the rest of the artistic design <laughs> of Ra- Wreck-It Ralph, so they had to basically downgrade it. It wasn't the artistic design; it was that it was too taxing for the computer to use. They were like, he's he's not going to be really close up on screen. We can't use this. That, that's uh, that's what I mean is that yeah, like the, that one was like so like detailed in the whole design. And it's like yeah, like the, they needed to like make his yeah, make a, a low poly version of Sonic. Man, you know, I just like I want to know. I okay cuz okay, okay, so when they go to the internet, right? I mean, wouldn't it have been <laughs> funny if like Wreck-It Ralph met other Wreck-It Ralphs, right? Cuz there would be more than one. Or what if in the movie, in either one, like you have a Pac-Man and then you have like uh, a like Super Pac-Man, so then you can have like two Pac-Man yelling at each other in because there's two. David, Pac-Man. you're missing out on the introduction of Maddie's family. Oh, don't you care? Right, uh, d- 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 David. David you, s- David, you say that, but like I know the original idea for a Wreck-It Ralph two that was more game focused would have had more oh. Wreck-It Ralphs. So. Like, it would have been, like, oh, they seeing like, I think it was, like, one of the versions was, like, a modern version of Wreck-It Ralph from, like, a modern video game console, and he meets that version. Well, they should have done that. Yeah, that would have been much better than how, uh, Remix the Internet turned out. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Doggo. Because I would, I would have liked a Wreck-It Ralph that seemed to follow up naturally instead of going, hey, little... Um, sugar rush lady, it's gonna go away. Vanellope von Schweetz. Yes, that's her name. Because I mean, the whole the whole first movie is like, oh, she needs she's looking for a place to exist, and this one is like, actually, everything I I, I fought for is boring. 
goodbye. <laughs> and I, I'm it's sure just... that that like there, it doesn't matter. I'm sure that there, there there are other readings you can do of it, but I oh oh man, if he was listening to Crush Forty, it would have died just now. <laughs> but instead, which, which Crush Forty song do you think he would have been listening to in this scene? Bad Nix. Oh, um, there it is. <laughs> He'd have the never released studio recording of the Crush 40 version of Endless Possibilities and not share it with the fandom. <laughs> oh man. I bet I bet he he exclusively listens to the Sons of Angels album. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I liked them more before they became involved with Sonic. <laughs> I believe this is a song that Jim Carrey actually chose. He was like, Hey, can we do this? Oh and right. Like, All right. He's just being goofy. Oh, oh yes. This this scene feels very game Eggman-y because he's just like, I'm gonna goof around. I'm doing some stuff. I'm eccentric. You know, it's it's uh. If game Eggman I'm is someone model who, and program a 3D dinosaur that runs into my thing for some reason that I'll pretend to let it bite my head off. This is a lot of money being spent to no actual end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's a good thing that that latte is part of the toy. <laughs> it is. It's a part of the uh, Robotnik toy. Right. Which I don't think is a spoiler to say that the Sonic action figure line has a Robotnik action figure. It's not because, a spoiler. Right, because it's the other are. thing you got to not say here. <laughs> oh man, Sonic that has eyelashes. Spoiler. I think it is great that they, that they they took that one line and basically made it like his like Stone's whole character in the second movie. He's like, oh, he, he, he's good at coffee. Here, let, let, let's let's have him run a coffee shop. I've never touched him. I, I thought it'd be weird, you know, like, like, like touching a bug, or a bat, <laughs> or something else that starts with a B, like a B. <laughs> like uh, a sack. There they are. Ah, see, there's partial there foot, but not full foot. Uh, get away. <laughs> Oh man, I wonder. Is that a JoJo reference? <laughs> yep, she's tied up. She's not even tied up very well. She's not even tied to the chair. <laughs> she's just no. tied to herself. <laughs> she could stand up if she wanted. Oh man, smelling salts. Has, has anyone ever um, had smelling salts? No. No. Whoa! Uh, he said it! Because. Oh. Yes. <laughs> well, we got some news for you, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic movie predicts The Rock becoming president. <laughs> is Are smelling salts, is that like catnip for Sonic? Do you know what smelling salts are? Not quite, no. They smell. They're a real medical thing. They smell so bad that they wake up unconscious people. Oh, I thought you were oh. going to tell me like what they're made of. I don't know what they're made of. <laughs> Probably some kind of salt. <laughs> What's it made of? <laughs> In the FTCR Sonic movie commentary, David says you were going to tell me what they're made of. This is a reference to the Crush 40 classic song. Um, I can't believe that Perry White's son shot Sonic the Hedgehog. Did you know that James Marsden was in Superman Returns? Yeah, and that was the reason why he wasn't in X Men Three. Mm hmm. Did you know that James Marsden was in a Superman movie that was kind of boring and not great? I mean, he's he's literally Which in the one? movie just to be <laughs> just to be cucked by Superman. That's his whole reason to exist. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, J James Marston is like he 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 gets like such because like he is a good like actor and like he's been good things, but he just gets he just gets saddled with so many like role decades. Because even in, in X Men, it's like oh he's he he's in uh in X Men one a little bit. He gets sidelined for most of two. He gets killed right at the beginning of three. 
and then he has a cameo in Days of Future Past. And it's like, oh, he, he's Cyclops. He, he's Cyclops. He could have had, like, a bigger role, but they, they, they just kind of fuck him over. Whose shoes did JoJo just steal? Her own. I think those are supposed to be hers. They, those can't be her. They're huge. Her dad. Stepping feet, David. You judging? Well, she's a child. She won't have adult feet. Her dad's feet. She took, she took them from her dad's closet. I don't All know. All right. We don't know anything about her father. I mean, I, I'm assuming she has one. And there, and they, and you can you see the the uh, the totally not socks on the shoes. Right. There's there's some cool art on the walls in this house though. My head cannon is that it's JoJo's art and they framed it up. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Why did, why you, did you Sonic drive? <laughs> Sonic understands Uber. And also, he's just out here. Nobody's noticing him. <laughs> no, it's it's San Francisco. That's it. We're done. Oh. Run no, up you the don't. building. You're Sonic. You run so fast that time stops. Run up the building. He could. It, it <laughs> is weird that, like, he's got abilities and then decides not to use them for certain things. But Sonic's got his shoes now. Those are neat shoes. R- remember when the movie was announced and, and he didn't have his right shoes in the big cardboard cutout where he's not wearing socks and it looked kind of scary and I rem- and everyone stood near the cardboard cutout being afraid of it. Uh, and then when they changed the release date, they actually re-released that same cardboard cutout to say February 14th, but that must have been in a much more limited fashion because they were going to change the way Sonic looked. David, were- breathe! It is so funny that 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 Sanford the, the the leg cardboard cutout never actually got released like as a official poster that was only ever just a cardboard cutout. <laughs> well, I mean, it had James human Martin legs. Martin. I'm a police this is officer. funny. <laughs> I'm using my powers by kidnapping a child. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is this is a funny bit. I like this bit. It is a. Yeah. This is one where I wish the trailer hadn't spoiled it for me, because now I just associate it as the trailer gag instead of the funny part of the movie. Although I, I, although I, I like, I like the line they add at the end of like, wait, where they say it's not your, it's not your child. It's okay, I'm a cop. That makes it funnier. <laughs> oh, undergarments. Those look CG underwear. Yeah, CG undergarments. <laughs> he, he said fart again, didn't he? <sighs> I hope so. Yeah, security could be coming at any minute. Go get 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 back down to the road. Yeah. Sonic, what are the rules you are living by? Oh, there they are. Oh, Sonic's gonna go. Is Sonic gonna be nice and open up a portal for them to get back home? Let's no. find out. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me all the way here. Goodbye. Right. What if Sonic <laughs> was like, actually, you two are going to come with me to Mushroom World? And they're like, what? Mm. I mean, to be fair, they are checking out SF anyway. They are going to move here. But would have been nice for him to at least offer, right? They're, they're, he, he's also still wanted. So if Sonic leaves, like what? Is he, is he still, still going to be <laughs> like arrested by... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't think they thought this through. Tom is very calm for being called a literal terrorist. <laughs> that that's right. He's not he's not called a fugitive. He is called a terrorist. Wow. This is the emotional moment. <laughs> and Steven's crying. I'm crying too. In the, in the... <laughs> oh no! No, my ring. 
He made a reference to to an iPhone thing, but he didn't know how to get to the roof. <laughs> Those are a finite resource. I need it back. If only Sonic could find my iPhone his way to this building. Am I right? I like the ship. It's a neat ship. Yeah, it looks yeah. nice. I like... Didn't make a great Arby's toy? Oh, man. There he is. He's like, well, I've over. He's like, oh, well, I, I've been in San Francisco for a little bit already. You missed your opportunity to say <laughs> hello. Have you tried rice aroni The San Francisco treat? Tom the cop? What do you think we'll get the the fast food toys for the second movie? Uh, McDonald's says it, I think, right? Oh, is it already a thing? Yeah, I believe so. I think we've seen yeah, them. Yes, yeah, there are. Um, they look discomforting. Right. I don't. I don't think we know the exact date that they start the promotion. But if you go to your local McDonald's, you will be able to collect toys featuring Sonic and the cast. Um, also. But in the UK, uh, they're not. They're, it's all cardboard. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, uh, UK McDonald's don't have little plastic toys anymore. You have to. They're just little cardboard things, dioramas, and board games made out of cardboard. So. They don't like to have fun, is what I'm hearing. Oh man, Sonic's oh, doing shit. a murder. <laughs> I still, I still absolutely love this line. This is my favorite line in the movie. <laughs> there they are oh <laughs> there it is <laughs> alright but he doesn't do the line they remove the trailer line when he taps his foot oh oh He's doing Badnik uh, attacking, just, just like in the game. He's adjusting his speed. <laughs> oh. Now, can Robotnik, like, perceive the speed in which his craft is moving? <laughs> <laughs> True, he powered up the aircraft, but he didn't do anything to his own physical state. That's a good question, actually. <laughs> what, like, is, everything... is he just like numb flying through the motions? <laughs> oh, like he just... I could imagine like it cuts back to him and he's... Oh man, he had a, an accident in the uh, in the cockpit. <laughs> he needs to hose it out. Oh. Now, is there enough hay to, to, to save them from <laughs> severe... Oh no, the rings! It's just like the game... Ah. He better get those before they disappear. Gun, my daddy's got a gun. My daddy's got a gun. My daddy's got a gun. You better run. Does anyone know, no one's heard that song? Okay. Right. I don't listen to music. I only play Sonic games. Right. It was very quiet. I couldn't couldn't hear all the subtle details of the song you were doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I didn't know. Were you doing that to prevent uh, copyright claiming? It was a song Whoa. about making out in the hay, and then Daddy's oh, got a gun. Helping. So you better run. Oh man, has anyone here Don't ever made out on a haystack? <laughs> like and comment if you have. <laughs> I want to know what what natural resources you've made out on. <laughs> if you've ever been thrown into a dimensional portal, made out, and then helped a cow give birth, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> now it's the start of the movie. Oh, oh murder! Man. Murder! Right. Oh. Oh, Sonic's like, oh shit, I started my commentary in the middle of, of this moment. What if I die? Oh, that would be uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, he did a pose. He did a Sonic pose. You see that? Whoa. Oh, and he, and he did a slide just like, like in the boost games. <laughs> this is Antoine's cameo. Bonjour! Right. 
That's right. He's having oh. so much fun. Look at him go. <laughs> so after you use a ring, does it just like disappear? Yeah. So so he only has I, a certain yeah. amount to begin yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. The, the, yeah. The, the, that's that's why it's like, oh, he has a finite amount of resources, so you kind of have to be careful with the rings. Right. Why is the rings big enough to fit that craft? That craft seems bigger than the ring portal. Oh, oh just, he blew that up? He blew the Sphinx He's up. getting the wonders of the world, and he's going to digitize them. Oh, man, it's just like the, un, <laughs> the unproduced Sonic movie from the 90s, Sonic Wonders of the World. <laughs> It's a good thing that definitely didn't get shared right before we were recorded to not date this. <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> and this in this universe, like, man wants to protect Seven Wonders. <laughs> that's, oh. that's right, even though he did blow up the Sphinx, so... Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh! Whee! Oh, it's night. How long have they been running? <laughs> um, You know, that's a really good question, because... The West Coast would have been on earlier right. time. They've also been running all well, over no, the I world. Like, yeah, they were in Paris and the Great Wall of China and yeah, they hit Egypt. So it's like, yeah, they went all over. Mm. So it's like, yeah, the, by the time they get back, maybe yeah, it is like, oh, it's nighttime now. But we, it was only like two minutes. We watched well, it all. We, for us, it it's makes two sense minutes. For, but... It makes sense for... No, we, no, it doesn't. I was thinking this was on the East Coast, but no, this is Montana. Hold on. Paris should have been dark, too. I don't think these guys know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Paris would be night. Yeah. Uh, oh, he punched him again. See, because if it was a child, it wouldn't be able to punch Robotnik in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the, 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 the child could punch Robotnik in the face, but it would be harder for Robotnik to punch back without it being awkward. Oh, I feel like this version of Robotnik would punch many <laughs> small children in the face. This Eggman would punch harder if it was a kid. <laughs> Yeah. He'd be like, oh, a child, I'll use my special punching gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever get to put these on. <sighs> and that's what I punch him, right? I like this Oh, Wade! Oh! Could have killed him. <laughs> That's true. I have a chainsaw. That chainsaw could be... Oh, Sonic's all dirty. He needs to take a bath. He needs to check his fur on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And then he fades away. He was never real. You made him up. He's just a silly little Billy, guys. Oh. He's my friend. Has, has featured in over a hundred <laughs> video games. <laughs> Perhaps you've read one of the hundreds of issues of comics starring him. Have you watched one of the five <laughs> television series? Soon to be six. <laughs> Live and learn! Oh... You think that couple's just still eating dinner? They're like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so I know in this movie, like, Sonic changes his perspective on life. Like, oh, I, I can hang out with people, and I know how to use my powers now. But, like, what's his arc? Does he have one? He he was sad and lonely and talked to himself. Um, that's not he, really. He, does, he doesn't have an. Okay, well, like a lot of, that's like a. That's a change of circumstances. Yeah, he, he says. I mean, Sonic doesn't have to have like an. Uh, like this one. Like, yeah, he doesn't have an arc. It's more so he has a journey, and it's like oh, that he learn. Like, he he doesn't like learn like a like oh like he changes his like worldview. It says just oh I can like I can do this thing that I want. I shouldn't yeah, listen I to my dead mother figure. Sonic, stand there and let him aim at you. His arc is saying, Mom was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Farting's <laughs> cool, kids. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Longclaw told me never to fart. <laughs> but now that she's dead, I can fart all I want. <laughs> oh, man. 
Imagine if you lived in Green Hell, all that property damage that's Three. occurring right now. Uh, green Hills. Four. Four. Oh, yeah, five. Come on, David. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, Right. Now, what if what if Tom didn't imagine the mushroom planet, which he actually doesn't know anything about, like, what it should look like? I don't think he needs to know what it looks like. He just needs to know, like, the name of it. Uh, but, well, I mean, Sonic didn't know much about San Francisco. Yeah, all he right? did was, like, he saw the picture of the building, and, like, that was why he went to the building. But what if there's more than one mushroom planet in the universe? Send him to the wrong one. Well, they, well they, it, it, it doesn't matter which yeah. mushroom planet. It's like he says mushroom planet. There you go. I mean, Sonic doesn't even know what the mushroom Maybe planet is. Just... He just knows that there is a mushroom planet. But, but yeah, what Wong if Tom Claw picked the closest one? <sighs> but what Maybe if like... Sonic showed Tom the little drawing that he had? Maybe. Yeah. But what if when when Sonic was like, "Yeah, you're you're gonna go," like Tom just thought of like Sydney. <laughs> 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 no, no, no! You're going to Brazil. <laughs> No! <laughs> cha 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 cha. I mean, that would that would. Uh... <laughs> or he just sends him to the other side of the street. <laughs> Sonic Twitter discourse be like. <laughs> That mother's going to die of starvation. No one's going to untie her. The implication that her daughter wouldn't feed her is immense. She is in the sequel, though. <laughs> that is true. We do see her very briefly in the trailer. See her twice. Yeah, somebody untied her. They're going to a wedding of some kind. That's right. I mean, presumably hers, but I guess it could not be hers, and she knocked the bride out and stole the dress, and that's the actual plot of the film. <laughs> oh, man, what if what if the second movie was about Sonic trying to stop Maddie's sister from forcing herself onto some unsuspecting person? She's like, yeah, hey. that, that would be really weird and terrible. <laughs> yeah. But this is the Green Hill Zone. It's the only time we hear a Sonic song. No, wait, the second time, because Hyper Potion started. This is a really nice version, though. Yes. It still bothers me that they didn't write a piece for the movie, and they just used the one that existed. But it will count it, right? Yeah. They, uh... Right, because that's... Oh, wait, what, what late show band is he from? Roots, it... I think, is what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, the guy from the Roots. Because they, they did play it. Uh, he played. He played. He's played some Sonic music on his late program, the late night program that he is a part of. That I. I mean, is, is it Colbert? No, it's Kimmel. <laughs> is it? No, it's. Or, no, or, no, 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 it's no, it's Fallon. Fallon's the one it that has the roots. Stuff, Fallon, I believe. Yeah, it's one of the Jimmys. No, it's just the Colbert one. Stay human. They're all the uh, same. It's Colbert. Or that, it, yeah, it's know. definitely yeah. not the Jimmy Kimmel no, show. Wink. Uh, Sega of Japan demanded that Pine be added in. <laughs> oh my god, it's Tom Kalinske himself. <laughs> Ooh. Do 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 sure hope they don't do anything like track his every movement hack into his alexas or anything to try to find out about sonic oh man how many people Looking went the to window. Ol olive garden after <laughs> i do remember a couple people that i follow did go to olive garden immediately after watching the movie so it did work uh, of course 
I still think the only time I've ever went in my life was with Gareth once, but I might be thinking of Red Lobster. Oh. So depending on how it went, we may be at fault here. I think the I went to- the last I can remember going was in Florida. Uh, then that was like however many years. So it's like I can't remember the last time <laughs> while in Canada I've been to Olive Garden. Get all of Florida's culture in one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, it's like going to be so set. hot in the summer, but you're going to love it. <laughs> All right, he's got the race car badge. It's just like Archie. He did it again. Yes, he, he, he double flossed. Just four out of five <laughs> dentists recommend. You could have at least done a different Fortnite dance. He, yeah. he doesn't know any, aside <laughs> from that, that one. one. <laughs> Right, that and that window's still open. Man, you know, if it rained... <laughs> it would pour. I've got a police stick of my own. <laughs> oh, Sonic likes dog. Oh, look, there's the logo! It's Sonic! Whoa! It's a whoa! Oh, uh, oh, oh. Oh. Ugh. What is he using? A piece of metal. Oh yeah, I guess the ship did crash in with him, didn't it? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> it's great. This is so stupid. <laughs> I enjoy this movie. But I hate adaptations that are like, okay, it's the end of the movie. Now we're going to start being a little more like the thing we're adapting. Yeah. It's, it's it's always weird. It's like, oh, this is the stuff you wanted to see, right? Well. Wait two years. Come back. <laughs> this, this is the movie for the executives. The next movie will be your movie. Will it be good? Who knows? Great. We'll see. We, we, we shall see in a week's time as of this video's uploading. I mean, what does he plan to do? He's got... Nothing? <laughs> there's, there's probably an auto, auto zone somewhere He's in there. He's got to wait for Knuckles to show up. Knuckles oh, is going to hear oh. him continually screaming to himself and be like, What's going on over there? Oh man, Jeff Fowler. Did you know that Jeff Fowler was only 13 years old when the original Sonic the Hedgehog was released on the Sega Genesis? Wow. That's oh. older than I thought. Do you want to know how old I was? I wrote I wrote that as a note and then wrote after it, This is important? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Speed Me Up is a guilty right. pleasure of mine. I don't know if it's a good song or anything, but I love it. Oh, hmm. it's not. <laughs> that, yeah, let's is... answer that for you. It's not. Yeah. Speed Me uh, Up. I thought it was the music sequence. video. <laughs> oh, man. You hit Some the original sprite art. Oh, oh, oh. Now, oh, what? That's, that's Yo, not how the bar zone. works. It looks like Mirage... It's literally just... They took Mirage Saloon's out uh, assets. Right. So so this is the classic Sonic version of the film. It's very short. It was very short. And they basically they, oh, and they basically took all of these sprites and they made a little, like, 10-page comic book in the Blu-ray release. That, that's right. See, there... Sorry for the day we're anyone. so desperate that we film that comic and make a video on it. Yes. And you can tell this was made as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's probably done in like a month, probably. A day. <gasps> Guys, what's happening? There's more movie? Oh. The middle. Cr- what is this? The Last of Us 2? It just it- doesn't end. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Now we're playing from Eggman's perspective. This was probably <laughs> shot this, this, this was, this was probably shot in Vancouver, so. It is Last of Us. <gasps> guys. <laughs> guys. He looks so creepy from the back right angle. <laughs> yeah, he looks better later. Oh, he's oh oh there he goes. Oh, oh okay. He can fly. He can... Oh, he's <laughs> oh guys, I'm flying wow. into the sequel. 
All right, now let's thank everyone who worked on this movie individually. Thank you, J. Michael Williams. Thank you, Nan Morales. Thank you, Justin Muller. Thank you, David Arnold. I don't want to continue this bit anymore. <laughs> it was a good bit. So, 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 yeah. so, so you think Tails being that fast, is that going to actually be in the sequel? It's like, oh, he is actually, like, everybody from the thing. Like, it's not just Sonic's the only fast one. It's like, oh, Tails is also pretty fast, too. You think, right. think you think that that, that that's going to play in some way, or is it just that, or the that, uh, or is that going to be just a oh that was just a, a gag thing that they did at the end of here? I hope that plays in in the fact that someone will ask Tails, "Why do you have a plane if you're both so fast?" And he'll be like, "I just think it's neat. I don't know." Oh. Oh. But where are they going to get that? I mean, are they going to steal that plane from someone? Uh, I guess he just built it, right? He didn't bring it in with the portal, unless he's like, throw a ring and take us to airplane zone, and I'll just jack one. <laughs> I've got a ring that's full of all my planes. It's like, whoa, airplane why zone. does this plane say Sonic on the side? Um. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right, it can't be game accurate, because of course the tornado is owned by Sonic originally in the games. That's one, one of the things that attracts Tails to Sonic. He's like, cool plane but but here well presumably they have a mutual long claw connection and that's what attracts tails question right. mark i guess long claw likes planes <laughs> but she's a bird uh, that's right what man the... i mean i hmm. hope we do see her i hope she's not dead yeah i mean like like we said earlier the original cut of this movie she was definitely dead she died we saw her die sonic went yeah and then she died in front of me <laughs> <laughs> there's tyson oh there's azuka above tyson and uh he's a character supervisor so hiroshi nishiyama is uh huh. for sonic's island look at all these assistants man that's right um cuz um wait so the the uh, the 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 guy who did the music, Junk, Junkie XL, yeah, Tom right? Tom Hulkenborg. Yeah, yeah. So I almost said J Axer, and I was like, "That's very that's wrong." wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because I think I think he said somewhere that, "Oh man, I wanted to use more Sonic music, but we couldn't get it cleared." So hopefully, uh, they they clear some more Sonic music for the second one, because I definitely want more Sonic music in the second one. Wouldn't that be? cool they yeah they, they were able, yes. they were able to get emerald hill in the trailer so hopefully that's right in both, both trailers i yeah. mean yes the the mm. original tease with just the logo and then the the first full trailer yes. um, okay here okay oh. here's blur studio like here's some stuff that blur studios did post viz that's right viz entertainment uh mm. oh did you know that apparently uh the, the the hyper potions song was almost uh, a different hyper potions song with singing over it by by that guy the person skyrocket the, uh is that their name what yeah i made a tweet where he was like somebody reached out to him and they were like oh we might want to use your vocal version of not that hyper but the other one that they did and um oh yeah and and I guess the reason they didn't use it is because his the uh, because Sonic's voiceover um, and and the singing was too um, too overlapping and, and too distracting. And they were like, "Oh, we can't have we can't have singing while Sonic talks." Sorry, that's unfortunate to hear. Right, for so, so, sake. and we should right. clarify that's not the guy that was here earlier. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Different guy. Mm -hmm. oh, Different one entirely. Right. Oh, look, there they are. There's visual by effects Marza, by Marza. Yeah. Our Sky um, uh, had nothing wow, to do with this movie. a small list of people. Um, Our Sky did make Sonic 4, though. That's episode right. 2, specifically, <laughs> not episode 1. Yes, yes. Oh, did the you know? The only one that matters. Oh, I should... I'm going to say... I... Remember, Dave, remember are you that one dropping time I... inside knowledge at the end of this commentary that no one's listening to? Oh, yeah. Is that Re what's happening Remember here? that one time I got really drunk and met the director of this movie? <laughs> yes, I, I do, do yeah. actually. I remember hearing <laughs> you about were that. there. I hear, remember hearing about that. That's right. I wasn't allowed to say anything at the time because he hadn't been announced as the director, but now I think it's pretty safe to say I met the director before he was announced as the director, but I was very drunk, so it didn't really help much. <laughs> What'd you guys talk about? Um... 
I, I rambled on a bit about Chuck Yeager. <laughs> <laughs> That it's, must have been when I was drunk in front of Tom Nielsen and or Tom Kalinsky and Al Nielsen, not sorry. Tom Nielsen. Right, I guess so I also we were both the, being very productive. I also met the uh, the producer, the Fast and Furious guy, yeah, Neil Moore, but didn't realize yeah. he was the Fast and Furious guy because if I did, I would have been like, "Oh man, I love fa- the Fast and Furious movies because I do, I love them a lot." <laughs> yeah, there's the Green Dares by John Bas- hey. John John Batiste. Yes, yes, there's a. Thanks, San Francisco. What? Canada? Yeah, because it was shot in Vancouver. It was shot in Vancouver. <laughs> what? So just, France, man. But you just put the country's name in there, Canada. Yeah, the, yeah <laughs> I, I, all films that are shot in Canada, they have, like, the Canada logo there. Okay. This is movie number uh, 51,917. I hope in you're honor. keeping track. What happens when they get to make a list of every movie? What happens when they get to 99,999? <laughs> They're fucked. You can't make any more movies. <laughs> We'll see you for the commentary of 51,918. That's right. Um, I guess that's the end of this, right? I also heard that piracy is not a victimless crime. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Well, thank you for joining us, everyone. Um, How do you end the movie commentaries? You go back to the credits and just keep talking? (laughs) Oh, well, I I guess usually what happens is that when when the film, like when they get to the credits, the, the people go, Man, you know, we had a lot of fun making this movie. I hope you gained some insight from all the behind-the-scenes stuff we talked about. You know, all of the, the high-intensity drama, how it almost didn't happen, but then it did happen. And uh, Yeah, it was great. So thanks for listening. Please watch these credits. And if we keep on talking, you will watch those credits, but you won't actually read the words because you're listening to us. Man, man, I, I love Sonic. Okay, here, 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 here's, here, here's a quick uh, prediction for the second movie. So the, 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 this movie's about 100 minutes. Do you think the second movie is also going to be 100 minutes? Is it going to be less? It's going to be more? What are you uh, thinking? It'll be uh, 110 uh, minutes. I know the answer, so... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with around 110 minutes as well. That That's my prediction. I, I want... Um, I want at least an hour devoted to... Um, Sonic on the Tornado. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a really extended sequence of Sky Chase. Uh, Thank you for listening and hanging out with us at FTCR. We'll probably do this for the next movie, so we'll see you there. In one week. Bye. In one week's time, we've got Sonic the Hedgehog two and Knuckles. Oh, are, sh- should we should we record more? Sonic I, the, the movie comes out in a week. We're not releasing the commentary in a week. <laughs> we should say. <laughs> Chris, just say goodbye. I'm just going to let you guys say bye. Okay, bye.